Good morning. Welcome to our new series of Basecamp devotions, uh, looking at a particular passage over the next few days. And uh, today we're starting in Ephesians chapter 1, and we're going to read through verses 15 to 23 over the next few days. I'm starting with the first couple of verses. So Ephesians chapter 1, verse 15 says this. For this reason, ever since I heard about your faith in the Lord Jesus and your love for all the saints, I have not stopped giving thanks for you remembering you in my prayers. I keep asking that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the glorious Father, may give you the spirit of wisdom and revelation so you may know him better. Paul is writing to um, certainly the churches in Asia Minor, possibly just Ephesus, but maybe more likely a wider range of of churches. Uh, Not a church he knows personally, um, but a church he's heard about. And what he hears excites him and he says ever since i heard about your faith in lord jesus and your love for the saints so firstly what excites paul is not just that what he's heard about their faith in the lord jesus but also the way that's worked out in their love for all the saints and that's one to to really take on board isn't it that it's not enough just to love god we've become very isolated and the danger is in becoming isolated we become insulated in our thinking as well as geographical Uh, isolation and actually Paul says these guys not only have come to know God amongst themselves but actually they've they're expressing that in love for all the saints something we need to really remember we are not isolated from the the wider church whether that's our church family in uh, North Yorkshire or our wider church family we are called to love all the saints so let's do that Uh, and remember that that's a key part of our discipleship um I have not stopped giving thanks for you, remembering you in my prayers, Paul says. He's, he not only is excited by what he hears, but it, it expresses itself in, in his relationship with God. God, I've heard about these amazing people and what's going on there. I'm so excited. Lord, I just pray for them. Please, will you? What? What does Paul pray for them? Verse 17. He says, I keep asking that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the glorious Father, may give you the spirit of wisdom and revelation so that you may know him better. Paul's desire, of all the things he might have prayed for these people, he doesn't know particularly well. What else could he have asked for? He could have asked for all sorts of things, material benefits, protection, safety, all sorts. But no, what he prays is that you will have the spirit of revelation, like that spirit that it says in uh, verses 13 and 14, that spirit of that Holy Spirit is living within them, that's marked them, that's given them presence and and, uh, the ability to be part of the the family of God, that that spirit of revelation and of knowledge will grow in them so that they can get to know God better. His desire, Paul's desire, is that they get to know God better. Of all the things he's excited about, he's excited that because of their faith, because of their belief in God, because they've started on this journey, that they'll carry on, that they'll get to know him better. And I think that has to be our our prayer. You know, have we put our discipleship on hold because of all that's going on? Do we do that anyway? Are we really focused on saying to God, please teach me, please move me on, whether I've been a Christian for 10 minutes or 60 years, Lord, please, today, let's make this our prayer. Let's pray with Paul. Lord, please give me the spirit of wisdom and revelation so that I may know you better. Lord, in all I do today, help me to seek to know you better. Holy Spirit, speak into our lives, we pray. Thank you that you are with us and you live with us. Please speak into our lives today and help us to live out our faith. Expressed in love to all the saints and all those you send us to. Amen.